And now what I will do, I will go and create my first uh, table called table persons and pets. And I will create a primary key called first name. And I will reference this one as a foreign key. And then I will uh, insert some, some data. Keep in mind that primary keys and foreign keys works only for delta tables in the Unity catalog. This is uh, something very, very important. And yes, I need to create the catalog. Create catalog more. Save. Then I will run and create this specific table. And then after this, I will show you how it looks like in uh, in the data explorer. I will go to the data explorer over here. And keep in mind that primary keys and foreign keys over here does not infer in enforce integrity. So if I go to demo users. Test, here you'll see persons. So this is the primary key and pets. This is the foreign, uh, the foreign key. So now what I'm gonna do, I will go to the SQL endpoint. I will start my serverless endpoint. I'll get the connection details. And now what I will do, say, get data in Power BI. I look for Databricks, login. I'll add the SQL endpoint, the HTTP path, Choose direct query mode, then OK. And something very, very important, you can log in using SSO. For my case, I need to, I will log in through SSO. So as your Active Directory, I will log in over here. I will enter my credentials. And now with SSO, I will log in and I will be able to access the data I have in my in my in my data lake. I will look for demo Yusuf. Then I will select my test. I will select my two tables and I'm gonna load them. And you will see that it will bring the data and it will populate the data mode for me. Just keep in mind that we only support, we don't support composite keys. This is something very important. So far, we don't support composite keys. And if I go to data model, you will see that my table is already referenced. Thank you for, for uh, watching this video.